let me share with you how you can get healing for past life trauma. My name is Tracy, and under hypnosis, I lead my clients to look at a past life that's relevant to their current life. I lead them to look at what happens in between lives when they're not in a physical body, and then I have them channel their higher self so they can get answers to every question they have about their lives. In a recent session I had, one of two lives that my client was able to see was as an angry, burly, rageful, abusive construction worker. He was physically abusive to his wife and had so much anger and rage because of him feeling unsupported and unloved in his life growing up. He wanted to control the rage, but didn't know how and never got out of that loop. He died of lung cancer and said he was filled with remorse and regret and the anger had destroyed him. He felt ashamed that he had wasted that entire life being so angry. After he took his last breath, he said he wanted to come back to another life immediately and have a redo. He couldn't see while in that life how the anger was destroying him, but once he was out of his body, he could clearly see it. He didn't feel like he fulfilled his potential and wanted redemption and growth. So to help my client now, I knew that we had to heal that aspect of her, so I went back and asked for healing. And reading the notes from my screen, this is the first question I asked her higher self. Would it benefit him to have you gather up all the trauma and neglect he felt from not being loved and supported in that lifetime, send all of that trauma and neglect up to Creator's light, and replace it with unconditional love and support, and tell us what that looks like as you do it? Her higher self said, yes. He would like that. There's a feeling of being engulfed, like he's in the womb. There's safety, there's deep peace, and a deep knowing that I am enough. I then asked, what about the shame and guilt he's holding on to? Is he ready to release that up to Creator's Light and allow that to be replaced with unconditional love? Her higher self said, yes, but there is some resistance. He feels like he will lose his sense of identity if he lets it go. He's unsure of who or what he would be, a scared child, but knows this is a necessary step. So I then asked, what about having his angels come around him, hugging him and embracing him, comforting that scared child, letting him feel incredible amounts of acceptance and love and allowing that shame and guilt to melt away that he was holding on to? Will that work? Her higher self said, yes, there is a great release, a melting away, tears of joy. A burden has been lifted. He can see better, like clearer vision, just more free, and his chest feels open. I asked, what lessons did he learn from having that anger? Her higher self said anger prevented him from moving towards what he wanted, moving towards loving others and loving God and being free. He learned that anger was a choice and he didn't have to hold it. Next, I had her higher self pull the anger. And when we sent it to Creator's Light, his face was glowing. There's great power in healing past life trauma.